well. So right. That rush. So we'll see. If you're given a dream of a direct, who would you cast? I have no idea. I, I really don't know. Any actors dead or alive? Family, what do you miss most about not living in New Zealand? The quietness and the peacefulness. It's very slow. And I don't mean that in a negative way. But yeah. compared to Los Angeles, it's a whole different world. Like Texas. That's what I miss about Texas. Like, so you think, so I think it's even slower in a good way. Really? I always like to say that because people take that wrong. I mean, that I don't totally get it. Or something, but yeah. I get it. Yeah. I mean, I love that. What did you learn living and working in New Zealand during the 20s or 20s? So you don't think you would have learned if you'd stayed in LA. I think I really developed my work ethic there. Even Rob Tappert said that. He said after Boogeyman, he just sent me a really sweet email and said thank you, you know, for doing Boogeyman and just appreciate how you work on the set. You're professional, you show up. And I, I learned that on Xena. That's for sure. It was tough. It was so hard. Oh my gosh, that was tough. Do you want Miles or Iris to follow in your footsteps and become actors? I think it's too late. Oh my god. As he's up on the microphone now. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, he's still over there. You know what? I I uh I know it's a hard career, but I think that anything can be difficult, you know? Absolutely. And I think um you just have to believe in yourself and stay focused on really what you want it to be true and authentic and if that's what he wants, then I'm I'm obviously the great person to be his mother because is that true? I don't know. Because I love theater and I love, I would support him. I guess that's what I mean, you know? And I love the arts. Yeah. So I guess I am a good, good match for him. <laughs> Do you ever want to teach acting? No, never, 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 never. Mm -hmm. I still don't, I still don't think I have a great grasp of it myself, so I would never try to teach it. I find that fascinating, okay. Yeah, <laughs> constantly. I'm like, how do you do this? You know, it's crazy. How do you feel to have a planet and a moon named after you and Lucy's characters in Xena? That's pretty fantastic. I would have told everybody. Yeah. I mean, that's so Wear your own t-shirt. Did I lose her? Did I lose the baby? Oh. <laughs> Where's so Grandma? Three, three guys. I've lost my child. Thank you. The room's over Bruce there. good. Goodness. Ghost Town. Let's see what you haven't heard. How much say did you have in, did you have in your wardrobe? None. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was so tragic. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Honest. I know, oh my gosh, thanks. They did me a lot of favors. <laughs> but you know what, it's perfect for the character. And I I say that now, I go, oh my gosh. But when I'm doing the part, it feels right. And I, I really try not to think of the vanity, I really do, because it's like, that's the character. And I couldn't be crunchy enough, you know? Right. And um, I was really particular about getting my hat, though. Like, actually, I, say, I love hats, so I was careful about finding just the right one. Okay. Besides that, it was all out of my hands. <laughs> Were you affected in any way by having two directors on the film? Yes. That was that was a challenge. Was that hard? It, it seems like it was very hard. Okay. One was more focused on the camera and the angles, and the other one, um, Dean Teaster, was more focused with the actors and the. So you would never do that as a director yourself. You'd never share, like. No, I don't think so. That's clear. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand why. Watching Dean Teaster try to direct and act in the film make any impression on you? I have felt very compassionate about how difficult it is. I uh, I just watched. I mean, I knew the struggle right. trying to go back and forth. So, uh, do I watch dailies? No, I don't anymore. I did on Xena, but really because I wanted to learn how to direct, which is okay. funny. But I don't watch dailies. I didn't watch anything on Boogeyman. So great, and it's so nice to not have to deal with all that stuff. <laughs> Dean said that even when you're in the background of scenes, you're on in quotes <laughs> during filming. Yes, because I've learned on Diamonds and Guns that you can do so much and add layers to a scene, almost like a painting, if you're just alive and in the, and in the scene, and in the context of what's happening. So I kind of like to think about that. Yeah, I, I, I try to always just be present. Um, you do it all the time. In the film? You, no, when you act, you do it all the time. Well... Otherwise, what am I going to be doing? <laughs> well, in watching a lot of background actors, that's kind of what they're doing. So. Gosh. I don't know. I've been fortunate that I've always been uh, 
in parts. Even the one on Stone Cold where the name was Tinseltooth. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I'm like, you gave me the name Tinseltooth? Thanks. But um, even that, at least I had something to do, you know? And right. I guess I've always tried to apply that yep. to something. Did I take any shooting lessons? No. And I, I want you to know I was... One Dead of, on, one right? Of the, uh, no, no. I, I just practiced a lot. But there's a, there's a. Come on, you're a Texan. I know. I know. You're gonna I, lose I, your I Texas practice, card. You can't there was a guy it. there. He's one of the characters. He's from Texas, and he was giving me a hard time because he, he didn't like how I was doing it. So I was like, Oh, really? Okay. I better. Yeah, I'll show you. It was so, a um, you know, I started practicing, practicing until I got it really well by the end. But what's funny is Dean gave me these coins that were his. I believe really from the 1800s, and he wanted me to do the uh, the thing on the, the knuckles. Right. He gave it to me just as we're about to roll camera. <laughs> so literally in the scene, I'm doing this. Blah, 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 blah. And that's what they had to keep for the film. But by the end of the day, you know, I'm like really nimble. It's so funny. You'll, you'll laugh now when you see the film because I have no clue what the heck, you know, if I'm so fascinated by it. You know? Can you do it well now? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Something, that's something you have to keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you seen the final film of uh, Ghost Town? No, I have not. But I do have some moments that Dean sent me. Uh, Dean has really gotten into the Xena fandom. It's great that he's so supportive, isn't yep. it? Yeah. And I'm, I think it's fantastic he sent some tickets yeah. to the auction. Definitely. How do people do that? That's, that's he's great. pretty awesome. Did you warn him that once you're inducted with the fandom, in, you're in for life? <laughs> no, I have not. To ask him that question. He's a sweet man. Very generous. Spirit. <laughs>